Hello everyone, this is Tanja Collector with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings Marvel's KD uh, from the movie. So let's go over to the packaging here first. So here's Marvel's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings logo there. And then we got Marvel's KD, Marvel Legends logo up top there. Here's the starter of KD. Here's the Shang-Chi logo there. Oh my guys, fell down in the background. And then here's that picture of Katie here. And if you guys want to pause and read that, you can. Uh, and then here's the Marvel Legends logo there. You get that symbol there too. Same picture on the other side. And here's the bottom with the TCPI. Please that that. Let's crack her open. And here she is in a package. So um, if I'm correct, I don't think we've seen her in the trailer yet. Because that one lady that was doing the spinning moves um, in the trailer, I think that was a different name because her name is um katie and then the one i saw a funko pop of this character uh and the name was jing jing Li, jing lu or something like that uh here's the funko pop and the name if that's incorrect but um yeah so let's go over to accessories first so first you get this like creature here which looks pretty cool i have no idea what it is i feel like it's supposed to be like a little dragon or something like that like a growing dragon i have no idea because it looks like it has wings uh it has six legs here so you get these two up front these ones right here and then back hind legs it looks like um i think that's six yeah because the these are just laying down he's sitting down um i mean it looks like fur or it scales i can't tell um but you get this nice like blonde look here and then you get some brown here and you get the wings here, which look cool. So you get this darker coloring here, and then it gets lighter near here. And then you get the spiky hair looking stuff here. And then underneath you get this like cool little blue purple rainbow effect on the wings. So that, that looks pretty cool. I am interested, interested to see what is in the uh, movie. Um, and then we get Katie's bow here. So you get this nice white grip. You get this brown look here for, I think it's supposed to be wood. You get the white string here, so you're not supposed to bend it really because it's just plastic. And you get this cool sculpting here at the edges, or the points, I mean, at the bow. So yeah, and then you get some more sculpting on that grip here. If you guys can see that, it looks pretty good. Um, and then you get this like little satchel piece here, or I don't know what you're supposed to call it, but uh, and this goes on her back for bows and arrow, uh, bow and arrows. Uh, so you get this one piece here for bows and then her arrows, I mean, and then this one goes for a bow. You get this like little brown strap here and you get this really cool detailing here with silver. So that looks pretty cool. I don't know what type of symbol that's supposed to be. Uh, you get this nice maroon red here, which looks pretty cool. And then, yeah. And then... You get two fisted hands for her. Shoot. There's that. And then she's wearing like the grabbing hands. You get a singular arrow here for her. So you get the red feathers here. And you get the red arrow piece here. And you get the brown wood piece. And then you get these things um, that look like it's supposed to be three of them or four. And this one just goes into her satchel just like this plugs in just sits there and then you, you can put the bow in here too if you want so i think it's supposed to just slide in this way yeah just like that and then boom that's what it looks like with all that in there and i'll probably keep it like that for right now um we could probably throw this in here too just like that easy so you can keep all that stuff in there if you want and then that's all we got for the accessories. Here's Katie here. So here's the nice face sculpt here. I like the eyebrows here. Lips look good. Hair looks nice and wavy. You get this like a little strand here. Nice black hair. And then the outfit looks nice. Uh, it's like a dress robe type of thing. So you get these really cool flower detailing here on the belt piece here. So yeah, see you have to tie that up in the movie. You get some nice white and blue um, flowers in there with a green 
vines and you get this blue around the edges around the rope uh, robe pieces here so there's that and then i like the sculpting for this dress here for her looks nice i like the red for her too and then yeah you get the hand the grabbing hands here and then you get the flip-flops or sandals i mean you know, she's wearing pants obviously so there's you can see the ankles are getting rolled up here but like the flip-flops here or sandals i keep messing up there i don't wear those uh, and then here's the back here looks good um but besides that let's go over the articulation so her head can go i don't think it's a hinge nope it's a ball joint so it goes down that far up that far the hair gets in the way there she go left and right uh head pivoting a lot of it uh shoulders can move up that far 360 rotation single jointed elbow sadly still but it goes past 90 degrees still swivels uh wrists can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation around there she has a diaphragm joint so she can only go she can go forward pretty quite a bit actually backwards quite a bit too um a robe and this like belt piece is a separate piece so yeah wiggles a bit so you can go side to side 360 rotation around there if you want her legs can this one doesn't want to kick out that far but this one can kick out just a little bit farther because of that little uh slip there legs can't kick out that far because of the uh the skirt piece here is in the way she has a thigh cut yep thigh cut there double jointed elbow met knees and it looks like they're pinless in there so yeah that's nice um ankles can hinge down wow a lot there and then up quite a bit and a nice ankle pivot and then to put this thing on uh, to make her g give her that complete look i think you want to do this around her head here and then boom that's her with her bow and arrow stuff i wonder if i can all right it's a little awkward i'll tell you that much there we go i think that looks a bit better eh kind of i don't know that arrow fell out oh well that's i guess as good as i'm gonna get it probably right there this this piece doesn't want to go over the shoulder because of the hair but yeah um pretty cool figure i recommend getting it it's a target exclusive just an fi um and yeah so it comes with a pretty good amount of accessories i am interested to see what this thing is in the movie if you guys know what it is comment it i guess um but yeah the sculpting on this figure is pretty good the um articulation for the legs is limited mainly because of the skirt piece here um but yeah everything else is pretty good diaphragm joint moves pretty well especially with this like belt piece in a way and all that um but yeah i guess the main highlight of this figure would probably be the sculpting of the dress and the amount of accessories and then obviously this guy here um but besides that that's all i got for this figure uh, make sure you guys check out my Twitch. I am doing Call of Duty, Friday the 13th, Rainbow Six Siege, and a few other games. Make sure you guys check that out. I'm trying to stream every day now. Uh, school School's almost to the end. Uh, so keep an eye on YouTube and Twitch because I'll be able to do a little bit more since school's out. And um, Twitch is the Hunter Collector, and that's all I've got. Hey.